Why would an attorney need the last four digits of my social security number to make me a will? I need end of life documents drawn up and my attorney wants the last four digits of my social security, which I'm not comfortable doing. Okay, so I will profit to the saying, they technically don't, and I don't ask my clients for a social security number because okay. I'm freaked out that something will happen one day and someone will like break into some system somewhere. Right. Um, the reason why a lot of attorneys do want the last four is so that they can help identify accounts and information about them after they die. Gotcha. Um, but there's no inherent need for it. The will in Georgia law, at least in Georgia anyway, there's no reference to the security number. If the institution needs it, you can tell it to them. Okay. Um, but for the most part, to write a basic will, no, no, you don't need a social security number in Georgia anyway. Okay, let's say you do ask for it, which you don't. But let's say let's say you do, and you're going to go look up these accounts. How do you actually go about doing that? Do you submit that to some sort of like so, online database? Where I wish oh. um, <laughs> that would make probate like a thousand times easier if there was an online database considering consisting of everyone's bank accounts and everyone's life insurance policies. That's not what it is. <laughs> if Okay, the reason there's like a thousand reasons that Duck Davis doesn't exist, yeah. but the big reason would be is that if I'm a thief, I would just <laughs> waltz myself over into hacking into this database <laughs> okay. and to steal everybody's stuff. Gotcha. It would make identity theft like easy, very apart. easy, like gotcha. shockingly easy. Okay. Um, so the way that most people do with estate planning is that to make it easier for family members, you should tell them at what banks you use, what institutions you use, and then with that information, you can go and contact the information upon someone's death and bring a copy of the death certificate and the bank will then freeze the account until you have the probate stuff done and then transfer it. What I usually recommend for clients is to keep a, you don't have to put the account numbers necessarily, but at least make sure everyone knows what, where to go. What bank, yeah. What bank, where your banks give are, your where your investment account, well, not, don't give them your social. Don't give them your social. They'll figure it out. Gotcha. Um, Georgia Vital Records will put your will put the social security number on your death certificate. That is one of the only that's the only place your your social security number should be public because once you're dead, social security number closes your file up, and no one can set up credit in your name anymore. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this useful or at least enjoyable. Um, listening to us um rip apart the great legal questions from the depths of the internet. It would help us out if you could like, share, or leave a comment below this video. Also, if you wanna protect your family through the estate planning process, please give us a call. Our direct number is 404-738-9538. And you can also leave us an email at the address below.